Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spawny here. Uh, and today we are bringing you guys the final round of the Battle of the Rogues tournament. Uh, these two players have won both of the rounds. Uh, we started with eight, and now we're down to two. Uh, Akamaro over here in the red playing his Firefist Gladiator Beasts uh, versus Plasmic Paladin over here in the blue, uh, who you recently saw uh, won his uh, round two match uh, versus Infinity Luna. Uh, playing Battle and Boxer. Uh, so it looks like uh, Akamaro over here is going to start out with a 10 key search, a uh, Liquari, and set two back row. Uh, Ivan's going to start and go for uh, Upstart Goblin. Um, Patrick Hoban, two strong Kappa. Uh, Twin Twister is going to come down, uh, and he's going to blow away two of Akamaro's back row. Uh, everything but the 10 key. So hit a Lance and the other set card, which is a Mirror Force. Uh, he savaged his round one opponent with a mirror force. Uh, so we're going to see a Assault Halberd come down. Um, uh, really, uh, I think Ivan does have the upper hand in this matchup due to Lead Yoke being very strong against Gladiator Beast. Uh, Gladiator Beasts do have a tougher time dealing with bigger monsters, and the the fact that um, and the fact that uh. Uh, lead yoke just keeps getting bigger, and the fact that it is immune to um, card effect, and the fact that it can save itself from dying by battle or card effects, just makes it much much harder for um, uh, gladiator beast to deal with. Uh, so if Ivan can successfully make lead yoke turn one, uh, he's going to be in a very good position. But he's going to make a Ragnar zero, uh, pop the quarry, get a draw, swing for twenty four hundred. Um, not bad. Uh, Ivan's off to a good start. It looks like. Um, Ragnar Zero, four cards in hand. Uh, Akamaru over here is sitting with three cards in hand. Uh, that 10 key is a problem for him now because anything he summons will get the boost and Ivan can just go ahead and activate Ragnar Zero. Uh, so he's going to summon a Gorilla, um, set a back row, and pass. Um, so he could Ragnar Zero here. Uh, I think that's what he, I think that's what his attempt was by summoning the Gorilla was to bait the Ragnar Zero. Um, I don't really see any other reason to summon the gorilla. Uh, yeah, uh, so he's going to go ahead and activate the Ragnar Zero, just not deal with the gorilla. Uh, net another draw uh, off of Ragnar Zero, um, and then start his turn with six cards uh, versus a Tenki and a back row. Uh, so Ivan has, has my, a whole lot of card advantage here. Um, uh, his seven cards to three. Um, so, uh, Akamaro going into this matchup told me that this is going to be a very difficult matchup for him, and that Kaiser Coliseum is not helping things. Um, that is very, very strong card right now. Uh, as we saw in, uh, uh Ivan's last match, that card won him, uh, games. Uh, just helped him stall out until he got all the back row and stuff. Uh, so we're going to see a bear, uh, Tenki bear pop over the... And a breakthrough skill. Um, <laughs> uh, it does send for cost, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's going to send for cost. Uh, well, uh, so set up back row. Um, maybe have something like uh, a lance finger crash. And the magic cylinder! <laughs> uh, though, wow. That card is funny. Uh, that won him a game uh, round one. Uh, magic cylinder did. Um, <laughs> um, so set another back row, uh, and switch his bear to defense and pass. Um, so Ivan looking like he's in control, uh, attack over the bear, uh, no back row this time, to, uh, in response to the attack. Uh, is gonna draw, uh, let's see, did he get there? Uh, I don't think he's playing Test Tiger in his build either. Uh, Test Tiger wouldn't do him any good in this situation, but I don't think he is playing Test Tigers. Uh, I could be wrong about that, though, but I don't think he's playing Test Tiger. Uh, so Ragnazeros is going to go ahead and keep attacking our monsters, and there was another bear. Um, I think he is playing three bear. Um, three bear and a gorilla, or maybe two bear and one gorilla. Um, not really sure. Uh, so we're going to see a Darius come out. Uh, maybe that's a sign he has a war chariot um, or like a lance. 
I think he has a Lance. I would say Lance is the optimal card in this situation uh, for him to have. Um, hmm. So, yeah, because if he has Lance... Uh, if he has Lance, he's in uh, Because then I will attack with uh, the Ragnar Zero. And then he can just Lance over it. And then Darius will be able to trigger. So let's see if I'm right. Uh, no, I'm wrong. Then why did he summon Darius? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know why he summoned Darius if he didn't have Lance. Uh, maybe he was trying to bluff? Um... So the top deck's into a 10 key. Uh, the Ragna Zero doesn't have any uh, materials. Um, so get his 10 key search. Oh, seven cards. Um, yeah. Pop that board to. Pwn zone. Pwnomania. Get shreked. <laughs> uh, enough bad jokes. So uh, he's going to summon a, search a bear, summon a bear, pop the Ragna Zero. Uh, Tinky bear, pop the Ragna Zero, and it's swing for 1600. And then he's going to go ahead and get to set another Tinky. Does he have another Tinky? I know he's gone through two. I'm not sure if that's his third. Uh, maybe he plays like a Tensu or something. No. Too sure about that, uh, whether he plays Tensu or not. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no! Okay, Goyoku. Oh, that's right. I did. I did know he played Goyoku. We did see that card uh, round one. Uh, so he's gonna go ahead and go Yoku and stun the back row. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. So, I have a lot of cards to work with here. Um, so, I'm going to spar. Um, does he have another spar? Uh, uh, activates an emptiness. Okay. Uh, emptiness, is, emptiness is okay right now. Uh, that's probably going to shut down a lot of uh, his options, though. So, I'm just going to set one back row, and that's going to be it. Uh, his other backer was stunned, and the top text a second Goyoku uh, to stun the other back row. Uh, Bear is going to go ahead and get over the spar, deal 400 damage, and I don't know if he's playing any more uh, fire formation spells or traps. I don't believe he would be unless he's playing a Tensu or a third Goyoku. Um, I believe he's gone through all three Tenki, though. Uh, nope, so apparently he does have something. Um... Oh, no, okay. Oh, he'd already gone through two Tenki? Okay. So, uh, apparently he'd only gone through two Tenki, so he's going to go ahead and get the uh, the other Tenki. Uh, go ahead and activate it, get the search. Um, yeah. I'll uh, go ahead and activate it, search for, search for a Laquari. Um, might as well go ahead and summon the Laquari, uh, just in case of a Kaiser Coliseum. Um, so, uh, now Akamaru is in a very good position again. Both of uh, uh, pa uh, Paladin's back rows are stunned by stunned by Go Goyoku, and he has game staring at him next turn. Uh, Road is going to come out here. Uh, maybe see a glass draw. Yeah, uh, we're going to see a glass draw. Uh, so he's going to uh, try to get rid of that emptiness to hopefully make some plays. Attack over the bear, but does there is there a back row? Um, is there a back row to deal with that? We, he does have one set card. Uh, no, so no back row, uh, so, uh, yep, yeah, and emptiness will die too, uh, only gets in for 100 points of damage though, uh, cause all this, these all just give this guy 100 attacks, so Laquari uh, is 2100 right now, 
Um, it's pretty big. Without even tagged out, uh, 2100 of the quarry. Uh, it's pretty strong. Hmm. Hmm. So looking at his extra deck, uh, I wonder if he has a spar in hand, possibly. Oh, no, he has a hat tricker. Uh, okay. Uh, hat tricker is okay. Uh, that works. Um, so go ahead and make a rank four. Uh, unless there's a back row to deal with that rank four that could cause problems. Uh, especially if it's something like Castell. Uh, Castell away the Laquari. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so put out Nova. So Nova's 2400. Uh, Okay, so yeah, this card's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. There's a war chariot. Um, wow. Uh, uh, war chariot um, for the... What effective that? Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and get two glass jaws and drop another hat tricker. Um, very nice. Uh, make another one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Paladin looking like he might take this one. Uh, go ahead and attach another material. Um, detach to uh, special summon the shadow uh, from his hand. Uh, recycle a switch hitter. Um, Makes emerald. Um, okay. So uh, shuffle back three, draw a card. Uh, he's in a very strong position, and the instant fusion. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so I'm pretty sure that we're just gonna see Castell attack for game. Um, not much reason to do anything else. Uh, this game, oh no, we're going to see Ragna Zero attack for a game. Uh, so Ragna Zero just pop uh, and go, go ahead and go for game. Uh, and then that's going to send it into game two. Oh no, this is main phase two, never mind. Uh, but uh, Paladin in a very strong position. I'm pretty sure we're just going to see a scoop here, unless he top decks into something like a Regeki. Yep. Uh, so there's the scoop. Uh, so uh, Akamaru losing his first game of the tournament. Uh, he's 2 0 all his opponents, I believe. Um, Vera's Paladin has 2 one every one of his opponents. He hasn't 2 0 anybody. Uh, he 2 one to me, and he uh, 2 one to Luna uh, earlier in the tournament. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. So, uh, sighting options. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what they're going to be sighting. Uh, Paladin may be sighting more back row. Uh, Akamaru probably sighting in. Uh, board wipes if he has any. Uh, maybe more back row. Uh, uh, Spell and trap destruction is another option uh, that he could sight into. Um, yep. Uh, not sure. Well, let's see if Set of Joe over here said anything. Nope. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, start up game two. So, we're going to see a Tenki come out. Uh, Tenki's going to go ahead and get that search. Um, search for a bear. Um, 
Hmm. Summons a Darius and set one back row. Um, I think it'd be interesting if we just see like Akamar come up with some crazy combo and just like put a whole bunch of bad damage on board one turn. Uh, just like whip out like a just make like turn one and just like whip out like uh, I don't know something ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to think of any, like what he could do. But uh, meanwhile over here, while I'm trying to be dumb, uh, Paladin is get summoning a Ragnar and getting warning. <laughs> um, hmm. Sets a back room. Um, that's it. Uh, that's when you know it's been a bad turn when they're just like, oh, set a back row. You're go. <laughs> Uh, ten key coming out here. Um, ten key, go ahead and get that free search. Uh, Laquari, go come uh, search out Laquari with ten key. Uh, summons Laquari. Um, 1800. Uh, so this game looking like it is in Akamaru's favor. Um, so uh, take 3900 points of damage uh, because they're each boosted by 200. Uh, so he's going to chain emptiness. Um, yeah, uh, they do uh, return for a cost, in fact. I don't believe that these guys uh, do have PSCT. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, these do have PSCT. Yeah, that's right, because they did get reprinted post-PSCT. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's going to just flip the emptiness over and uh, let make him go, uh, what? Uh, don't understand. I guess he activated both effects, or he was being like, yeah, I was going to activate both effects, so I'm uh, just going to go and shuffle them both back in. Uh, so Assault Halberd is going to come out here, deal 1,800 points of damage. Uh, that Emptiness could be a killer in this game now, uh, just because now I can get to search out another Assault Halberd. Um, and if he has back row right here, uh, this very mail may turn into a 2-0 for him. Uh, if he has back row, because uh, more than likely Akamaru is going to try to summon a monster here, beat over the uh, Halberd. Yep, there's a bear. Uh, okay, so he's going to go for the bear pop, uh, get rid of the Emptiness and the Halberd. Uh, that's another game changer. Uh, something okay, nothing for the bear. Uh, so Akamaro again, just flipping back control to him. Uh, get the get the bear. Uh, set Goyoku. Uh, main phase two. Activate Goyoku. Um, stun the back row. Um, very nice. Uh, set a back row of his own and pass back to Paladin. Uh, Twin Twister comes out. Uh, drop the Twin Twister, hit the back row in the Goyoku, uh, so it's a Lance. Um, still only two cards in hand. Uh, a Switch Hitter would be really nice. Hey, there we go. Speaking of Switch Hitter, uh, Switch Hitter is going to come out here, get back a Shadow, uh, and again, control of the game is flipped back to Ivan. Um... Uh, just getting in there for the, that damage, uh, 1,500 and 100, uh, and then he's going to make lead yoke here, probably. Um, yeah. I don't know. He's going to make this card. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put more materials under it, probably. Um, put that, uh, that third material under it, make it a 2,600. Um, this card is actually really good for the battle boxer archetype. Uh, yeah, granted, the archetype never really went anywhere. Um, but uh, this card is really good for that archetype. Um, so, uh, Akamaru in a very tough position here. Um, this has been a very good game. Um, we've seen control flip-flop flip, flip a lot. Um, this is what Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be like back in the good old days. It wasn't as fast as this, but control be fought for a lot. Um, just keep trying to fight for control uh, of the game. Um, 
So uh, Maxi uh, drops Android Gecky. Um, so uh, the summons all do happen simultaneously. So uh, he'll get one drop. Um, So, okay, there's a bear. Um, that's not bad. Uh, go ahead and kill the shadow. Uh, Tenki bear pop the shadow. Um, he, yeah, he could... Or no, okay. Just go ahead and kill the, uh, the switch hitter. Uh, go ahead and get that bear search. Probably search out a, a Tenki here. He definitely needs the card advantage uh, from the Tenki. Uh, that search could be really, really crucial. Um, so I think, yeah, uh, go for a Tenki, uh, and then probably just Tenki Bear pop the Shadow uh, in main phase 2, preventing uh, Ivan from going for another X seed. The first is going to activate the other Tenki, um, so we get a search, probably search for a Gladiator Beast here, probably Laquari would be a good option. Um, oh no, he's going to go for another Bear. Okay. Um, yep, Tenki Bear pop the Shadow. Um, leaving him with just the spar um, in defense position with that 1400 booty. Uh, not been not big enough for that bear though. Um, so uh, okay, top top decks into a glass jaw. Um, that's game changing. Uh, this because this allows him to go for his big card, which is lead yoke. Um, uh, this allows him to go for a yoke, and I do think that yoke is probably the Dice. Uh, okay, what's one? Sorry for attack. Okay, so uh, go for the damage and then probably make lo yoke in main phase two. Um, this has been a very yep. Yeah, and there's the yoke. Uh, this has been a very nice game, but I do think that yoke will seal the deal. Um, just cause uh, and he's going for a proving ground. Um. Hmm. The yoke can save itself, though. Um, that's the problem, as I don't think Gladiator... Does he have a Gladiator Beast monster in his graveyard? Uh, go for a Ruddy Yari. Um, interesting. I'm not sure why he'd go for a Ruddy Yari there. Uh, but that's interesting. Okay, so he'll go ahead and take the 800. Um, hmm... Oh no, he's like, okay, so he's gonna send a monster, that's fine. Um, hmm. And there's the Assault Halberd, and that's going to wrap it up. Uh, Plasmic Paladin um, taking the victory uh, of this tournament. Congrats to Ivan for winning this entire thing um, with Batlin Boxer. Um, congrats to Akamaru for doing very, very well with Gladiator Beast, uh, coming back into the game just for this tournament for a little bit. Um, so thanks to everyone who played. Um, thank you to all of you who've watched. Uh, if you've enjoyed this segment, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would like to do more things like this. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, and again, congrats to Plasma Paladin for, uh, winning. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thanks, Spawny out.